this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 10. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue multiplying three digit and four digit numbers by one digit. And we're gonna continue practicing that standard algorithm, although I'm gonna continue connecting it to the partial products method that we learned earlier. So the directions say to use the standard algorithm, but I'm gonna continue showing um, the partial product just a couple more times just to nail that home. Uh, so 9 times 41. So let's see, we're going to multiply. We're going to write it like this. Teachers, remember, you can use that graph paper or the sideways lined paper to help students keep their, their numbers in nice, neat columns. <clears throat> so we've got right here, 9 times 1, 1 is going to be 9 ones. And then how did we get that? We did 9 times a 1 right here. And then here, this means 9 times 4 tens. So that's going to be 36 tens, which is 360. And how did we get that? We did 9 times 40. And then we can add these together. The 1s, 9 and 0 is 9. The tens, nothing in six, is six tens. And similarly, the three is the three for 300. So our, our product is 369. And that's using the partial products method. Using the standard algorithm, it's going to look like this. And teachers, what we want students to start seeing is that the standard algorithm is a little bit more efficient. It's less work. However, it does kind of hide the number sense that's going on a little bit. It makes it a little harder to follow. Um, so that's why students, it may take them a while to transfer over to the standard algorithm. Anyway, so 9 times 1 is 9. And then 9 times 4 tens is 36. So that's going to be 36 tens. So that's 360. So we're going to write 360. And there's our answer. So right here, boy, this is a really nice example showing how much less work the standard algorithm is compared to the partial products method. Here we're going to jump straight to the standard algorithm. So we've got 286 multiplied by 7. So you've got 7 times 6 ones is 42 ones. Well, 42 ones means you're going to carry 4 into the tens column, and you're going to have 2 ones left over. So you can see 7 times 6 is 42, and you can see the 42 here, but the 4 is carried into the tens column, and the 2 is in the ones column. And then you have 7 times 8 tens, so that's going to be 56 tens plus we have four more tens, so that's 60 tens. What does that mean? Well, that means we're going to have six hundreds and no tens left over. So there's our 60. So notice, 8 times 7 is 56, plus 4 is 60, and you can see the 60 right here. We can cross off the 4 because we don't need it anymore. And then you have 7 times 200. So 7 times 200s is 14 hundreds plus 6 more hundreds. So that's 20 hundreds. So what is that going to look like? That's going to look like 20 hundreds. And so our final product is 2002. Another example using that standard algorithm. So let's write down the problem. So we've got 4,096 being multiplied by 4. Now teachers, what you want to be doing as your students are working on this, you want to be listening to their them understanding place value rather than just memorizing the algorithm. So when, when they say 9, you really want them to be saying 9 tens. And when you say four over here, you really want to hear them saying four thousands. Uh, just keeping that concept of place value rather than just sliding into a standard algorithm. So we're going to multiply 
4 times 6 ones, that's 24 ones. So that's 2 tens and 4 ones. Then you've got 4 times 9 tens, so that's 36 tens, plus 2 more is 38 tens. So that means you're going to have 8 in the tens column left over and 3 in the hundreds column. So then you can see there's our 38, 38 tens. 3 in the hundreds plus 8 in the tens. Now this is kind of cool. 4 times no hundreds. So 4 times 0 is 0 hundreds plus the 3 hundreds that we had carried over. So that gives us 3 hundreds. We have nothing to carry into the next column because we have less than 10, right? Nothing to bundle. Then you have 4 times 4 thousands. So that gives us 16 thousands. And so we're going to write that like this. 16 thousands. And there is our product. 16,384. Got to practice a couple of word problems just to knock this home. It takes earth. Six... It takes 687 Earth days for the planet Mars to revolve around the sun once. Whoa. How many Earth days does it take Mars to revolve around the Earth, around the sun, sorry, four times? Okay, so that means we're going to take 687 and we're going to multiply by four. And we're going to do that using the standard algorithm. So you've got 4 times 7 ones is 28. Then you've got 4 times 8 tens is 32 tens. Plus 2 more is 34 tens. So that's going to be 3 and 4. So 3 in the hundreds column, 4 in the tens column. Then you've got 4 times 6 hundreds is 24 hundreds plus the three extra hundreds, so that's twenty-seven hundreds. So our answer is 2,748, and what is that? It's 2,748 days. One last word problem. I chose this because it's a really nice opportunity to draw a picture. So we've got Tammy. She buys a four gigabyte memory card, and Dijonia buys a memory card with twice as much storage as Tammy. So um, we have Tammy, and I'm going to put a T, and then we have Dijonia with a, a D. Now Tam I'm going to give them both the exact same size tape diagram. Now we know that Tammy buys a 4 gigabyte, so I'm going to label that with a 4. Now Dijonia buys a memory card with twice as much, which means she's going to have another tape, and these are each fours. So one gigabyte is 1,024 megabytes. How many megabytes does Dijonia have? So basically, we want to know this, which is going to be 1,024 multiplied by 8. Now, where the heck did I get the 8 from? Right here. 4 plus 4 is 8. So let's multiply. 8 times 4 ones is 32. So that's 3 tens and 2 ones. 8 times 2 tens is 160. So that's 16 tens. Plus 3 tens, so that's 19 tens. So that's 1 in the hundreds column and 9 in the tens column. See the 19 right there? And then 8 times 0 hundreds is 0 hundreds plus the 1. That gives us 1 in the hundreds column. And then lastly, 8 times 1,000. 8 times 1,000 is 8,000. So our answer is 8,192 megabytes. And that wraps up 4th grade module 3, lesson 10, multiplying 3 and 4 digit numbers by 1 digit using that official standard algorithm.